Sullivan Rand here playing Farming Simulator 19 on Autumn Oaks here and I was uh, kindly reminded here, I think it was the last episode here, that I haven't mowed my lawn here in a while and that there's a, uh, a certain tractor here and a, a certain mower that might work good for this. So, uh, we're up at the shop here, we got a John, or not a John here, a white, uh, yes, a white 145 here with a Rhino, um, Batwing mower. I'm not entirely sure what. Uh, uh, which one is it? Rhino Epic. Okay, this is the Epic one. Okay. So anyway, we're gonna take this down to our uh, farm here. We're gonna do a little uh, mowing, and then we'll uh, see what kind of other trouble we can get into here this episode as well. It did finally stop raining here since last episode. I fast forwarded time. Uh, yeah, I was at 1,400 hours here, and it's like, oh, it stopped raining. Perfect. So uh, stop fast forwarding time. I thought it was gonna probably like rain all day, and we're gonna have to fast forward it into the next day here, but it uh, wasn't quite that bad, so. Interesting uh, sound on this tractor. It seems like it needs a little help, if you ask me, but okay, anyway. Orwell doesn't uh, seem uh, too bad of a tractor, though. Uh, for those who are not familiar with the white tractors, uh, they were basically produced after the Olivers when white trucking company bought out the Oliver tractor or I am not really bought out hostile takeover I believe is the more correct term there a uh, hostile takeover of the Oliver tractor company and then uh, yes these were the uh, tractors that resulted a uh, fairly decent tractor to my understanding though I don't have much uh, any for that matter, experience with them at all, so. Oh, what's that? Oh, uh, there's, uh, whatever, something laying on the road there. <laughs> oh, okay. I had nothing to do with that. Okay, maybe I did, but uh, not admitting to it. Not admitting to it. Mm, okay, a bit weird with the light. Oh, yeah, the lights are on, aren't they? Oh, yeah, the lights are on. Interesting. Yeah, they're not actually on. Oh, there's no lights on this tractor. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Very interesting. Hmm, I wonder. Whoa. Ay, ay, ay. What, uh, what kind of air messages do we got here now? Oh, is this from this tractor? Probably. Probably. Wow, that's, that's, uh, that's a lot of air messages. I'm thinking uh, whatever's causing these air messages probably needs to go. <laughs> Wowie, wow, wow. Okay. Well, anyway, th this might be the uh, first and only time you see this tractor here, then, unless it's something else that's causing that air message. Wouldn't particularly surprise me, I suppose, but... That uh, might be easily fixable, because uh, just from what I'm seeing here, I, I can see there's a problem with the lights here. The lights are obviously staying on. So we're not making a sound. I guess not. I, I, I thought you'd hear something when we fired up the mower here, but... Uh, yeah, the mower does appear to be working. That's cool. This tractor does feel a bit big in front of this mower, but it's working. Uh, this particular mower, by the way, does not drop anything, so it just uh, mows and uh, destroys the uh, grass. So uh, no, uh, no product here from this. So Jeffrey, hope you're happy. We're uh, we're mowing our yard. Well, mowing this part of the yard anyway. I figured this might be a little cumbersome uh, getting it around the uh, the smaller yard there. And then we're also using the uh, the white 145 here. But yeah, just uh, this. I'm pretty sure this tractor's in my mod list, by the way. You can thank uh, Jeffrey for that. Uh, I might be the one causing the error messages too. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we do have three new mods here I purchased. So we got the mower. Could be the mower that's causing it. Could be the tractor that's causing it. And, and it could be something else that's uh, sitting up there. I don't know. You, you folks notice what it is? Mm, yes. Could be that causing the error message too. I suppose. Anyway, once we get this mode here, we do have some crops to harvest. In fact, we got all kinds of crops to harvest here. Uh, we got corn in that field, which I'm actually hoping maybe we can do some uh, chopping here. Speaking of chopping, seems like we looked at this a while back. There was a chopper, not that one. Ah, uh, yes, the uh, ooh, wow, that is that is one expensive chopper. Did not realize that. Everyone, I was hoping for a bit cheaper price on that. 
Uh, yeah, the 70 chopper here. Wow, that is that is rather expensive. 7,445,000 for that. Interesting. Uh, I've got a suspicion here that this chopper is built on this one here. A anyone notice? I mean, the price is the same. Mm, coincidence? I'm thinking probably not. Anyway, yeah, wouldn't mind uh, trying that one. It is a little pricey, though, and like I said, I had not, uh, not realized that. Okay. Seems a little uh, pricey there for what uh, would technically, to my knowledge, be an older chopper, as far as I know. I'm not uh, particularly uh, familiar there with the, uh, the John Deere choppers, so... Oh, messing a little bit. Messing a little bit. You know, unfortunately, even though we uh, mow this here, it's not going to stay mowed for long. You know, a quick uh, skip of the night there, and this is going to all be uh, regrown. I have to say, it does look a lot nicer that way, though, doesn't it? It does. does indeed. Except for those weeds there. Watch, uh, someone reminded me if I do a little texture painting, that will take care of the weeds. I hadn't uh, thought of that before, but yes, that would be a good idea, and... Uh, relatively easy. Ooh, what is that there now? Hmm, what is that there? Uh, that would be a relatively easy way to uh, fix those weeds, probably bush, whatever thing those things are. You gotta say, anyone else uh, find the uh, sound on this tractor particularly? It's, it's something doesn't seem right about it. Yeah. Uh. It doesn't change at all. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, the, the sound does not change, does it? Okay. Uh, this apparently, by the way, is a beta version of this mod, so... Uh, sounds like the mod author is probably still working on it. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say it definitely probably needs a little bit of help yet. But for those of you who absolutely have to have a white tractor, there's one out. Just uh, don't look at that when you uh, <laughs> when you get it. I, I'm just assuming, by the way, I mean, this is what's causing that error message. I don't actually know that for a fact. So, and it does appear to be repeating. So, like I said, we're we're, we're going to finish this, and I'm probably going to get rid of this tractor just to see once if that error message. Actually, you know, what? I'm not really going to be able to tell if it goes away or not. Uh. Oh, I can't even type. What? Why? I can't even type anything in here. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Oh, yeah, because I had scrolled up. That's why. Um, oh, now we're getting another error message. Oh, my. Uh, yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. What's that one about now? That one's from Course Play. Well, I'm not using Course Play. Not sure what's up with that. Interesting, very, very interesting. We'll just, uh, how about we just uh, close that and pretend we didn't see it. That seems like the uh, the best way to deal with that problem. Oh. Uh, I, I seem to have uh, detected another problem here. One, the, the tractor does not back up. Why does the tractor, oh, there it goes. I don't know why the tractor wasn't backing up there. That was kind of weird. We definitely seem to be experiencing some technical difficulties here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, apologies there for headphone users. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Mm, I'm, I'm thinking the sounds seem a little inverted to me. Wow. Uh, 
Okay, in, in all fairness, Jeffrey did say, uh, warning, he did not test the tractor out. He was afraid to do so because he was going to be uh, disappointed. I think you might be right, Jeffrey. Uh, as long as you stay outside, uh, maybe turn your sound off. Uh, don't look at the air messages. Uh, you might be good. Uh, okay, maybe don't look at the lights either that are persistently stuck on. That actually uh, seems to have been a common problem with Farming Simulator 19 mods that were converted over. Uh, a lot of people have said they've had issues with lights that just uh, will not turn off. Uh, yep, don't know enough about it myself to uh, comment on that. I just know that is a thing, by the way, so... Yeah, might as well mow this area too, right? Why not? Mow right along the fields. That's what you see a lot of farmers do, by the way. They will mow uh, right along their uh, fields there just to uh, cut down on any uh, grass and other stuff that might be uh, growing along there. That way it doesn't have as much of a chance to uh, compete with the uh, crops that are right next to the field there. Okay, we almost got this done. I think, oh, there's a bale there. Hello, bale. And yes, yes, everyone, I seen the little missing spot. We'll go get that here in a minute. Because that does look a little funny out in the middle of nowhere there. Okay, and then, uh, like I said, I think we'll, uh, we'll call this uh, good here then. And we'll probably, we'll, we'll, yeah, let's, we'll go ahead and sell the tractor here. See once if that cleans up the error messages or if it's uh, something else that's caused. And like I said, from whatever, everything else I'm seeing wrong here, when I, I kind of suspect the, uh, the tractor here is at fault. Yeah, okay, let's see if we can park this in the shed here. Right in this uh, front corner here I think would be a good spot for this. There we go. Looks good to me. Okay, Mr. Uh, well, actually, shall we take it down to the shop? Uh, yeah, no, we'll need to take it down to the shop. We'll just sell it from right here. Maybe I better uh, save the game here before I sell it, just you know, in case it... Uh... Okay, I guess it did save there. Okay, we'll call it good. Just in case something goes wrong when you sell it. Uh, it's not like, you know, that hasn't happened in the past when you go to sell a bad mod and... Hey, you end up with another surprise. Okay, where is it? There's the mower. Oh, there it is. Okay, yep, white. Uh, the white 145 workhorse. We're going to go ahead and uh, sell that. Um, wow, I just noticed the speed here, everyone. Oh, my goodness. What is that? What is that? I've never seen that before on an icon. Or there's another tractor here. Uh, none of these other tractors have that. What in the world is that, everyone? <laughs> okay, let me go back here. Uh, I, I just happened... I, I guess I didn't look at that that close in the shop here. What is that? That's like air? That's kind of what the icon looks like. Uh, anyway, it goes 257 miles per hour. 257 miles per hour. Holds 10,000 or something. Okay, that's that's a little weird. Just a little weird. <laughs> right, anyway, goodbye, tractor. Um, don't think we'll be buying that again, I don't think. Hmm, let's see what's here. Uh, yeah, yeah the, uh, the error messages appear to have gone away, I think. Uh, those error messages there are... Well, that's actually, I don't think that's really an error message. That's just uh, guidance steering, loading up the courses... 
But yeah, there don't appear to be any uh, further error messages. So, okay, cool. Uh, anyway, everyone, we got harvesting to do. Oh, right, and uh, maybe folks want to see what's over here, too. Uh, yes, uh, we got the uh, PC Master Race truck over here. Uh, they handle console disposals, so... Yes, yes, stay back, console disposal unit. Uh, unsafe gameplay console usage has been proven to make life a total misery. Ooh, danger, wow. That sounds, that sounds terrible, terrible. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know where uh, Bull finds his mods, but um, my oh my. Uh, I think, uh, Bull, you need to, like, uh, start a Facebook page there where you just, like, link and list all of the odd mods you find. <laughs> People will love it. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's grab a combine here. Actually, what do we want to start here? Like I said, I like to chop the corn on this field, so let's, uh, let's start on the soybeans on the contours here. Uh, we also have, uh, wheat on the, on that field there. Uh, oh, that's right, we need to plant this field too, don't we? And grass over here probably is not ready yet is it i don't know if i checked here oh it is too okay so cool uh maybe we can uh, we'll maybe save that for next episode we'll maybe get into a little grass there next episode uh see what's what we got for mowers yeah we got forty-five thousand at the moment not a whole lot but fire up the uh old 8820 here that seems like a good combine to put on the uh, soybeans here and I think I'm going to go ahead and just create a course play course for this here. The uh, whole hired... Actually, no, we can do a little, why don't we do a little harvesting ourselves? That might be kind of fun. Yeah, we'll do that. Then maybe we'll uh, set up course play. Do a little harvesting ourselves here this uh, episode. Um, let's see what's here. Let's grab a grain truck. I think are they both over here yet? Uh, there's that one. Did I not put the uh, GMC or not? Yeah, the GMC one away. Uh, there's now a, a cat version of the uh, GMC as well now, by the way. So for those you want or like the uh, GMC truck, there's a cat version. Uh, very similar, just a little bit bigger. A little more uh, ponies, uh, a little bit bigger uh, uh, grain bed. Grain, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? <laughs> On the, uh, the back of their holds just a little bit more. You can get that on the uh, Buster's Facebook page. Again, for those of you watching the live streams, uh, you've seen us using it here this uh, past Sunday. Definitely should uh, check that out. Um, I do have it in my mods here. I just I've already got two of them here, so I don't know if we need to buy another one just as of yet. And I probably eh, I don't know if I can afford it or not. Not sure on that. I mean, we can get some uh, discounts applied, but I'm not sure if I can get enough discounts. Okay, here we go. I think I need to give this thing a bath here sometime. Which reminds me... Ooh, that reminds me, yes. Bull sent me another uh, mod here. Which I think I forgot to activate that one. So, right. I'll have to show you folks that one uh, maybe next episode then. Or the episode after that. Try to remember to uh, activate that mod. Uh, maybe if we uh, get enough money here from these uh, soybeans, we can uh, afford to uh, purchase that uh, chopper here then. Like I said, that chopper seems a bit uh, outrageously expensive to me. Uh, just, I don't know, thinking maybe it was uh, built on that other chopper there. Because, you know, the prices are like exactly the same, which seems a little uh, suspicious to me. And we do have uh, soybeans across all these uh, contours here, by the way. So it won't be a whole lot of soybeans here. I mean, overall, yes, these uh, contours take up quite a bit of uh, space, but uh, yeah, there's really not that much field here, I don't think, when you really like combine them all together. Oh, let's see, what was the model number on that uh, chopper here again? I'm just kind of curious. Uh, John Deere, like a John Deere 7300 forage chopper, eh?
Just curious what I can find online here real quick a minute. Probably driving here and uh, typing at the same time. Oh, uh, let's see what's our 73... Hundred. A little off track here. Uh, John, you're 7300. Uh, no results. Okay. Is that not a uh, real chopper, or do they not have choppers on their website? That is, seems kind of interesting. So, uh, do this another way. Ah, there we go. Okay, now we found it. That was odd. Apparently, I guess maybe tractor data doesn't actually have information for uh, forage harvesters. That could uh, very well be. Oh, uh, let's see once here. A John Deere 7300 2003 model. Opening bid. $100. Wow, interesting. Okay. That also appears to be the only one. Okay, interesting. Oh, wait, wait, here we go. There we go, I found another one. Uh, $160,000. Wow, that's uh, that's up there in price. Yeah, so I mean, that's a fairly reason. That probably is a fairly reasonable price in the game here for a uh, chopper. Choppers tend to be uh, a bit pricey. Especially the self-propelled ones, anyway. Got one for $100,000. One for 35000 Wow, that's a uh, that's a big difference from 150 to 35,000. I wonder what the difference here. Uh, let's see what's here. This one is newer, 2003 versus 2006. Hours on this other one here. I mean, you know, look at this other one. I'm kind of curious now. Why is the other one? Where did it go? Oh yes, the uh, the one that's 160,000 only has 700 hours. The one that is 35,000 has 5,000 hours. Uh huh. Makes sense. Okay, wait a minute, though. The uh, one above it here, 2006, also has 5,000 hours for 100,000. What's wrong with it? Why is one selling for 100,000? Why is the other one selling for 35? Something's wrong. Anyway, just curious. That one, like I said, I thought I'd uh, look that up here real quick a minute. And probably once we're uh, done recording the episode here, I will get this uh, set up with course play, and we'll have uh, course play start uh, working uh, across these uh, contours here. Uh, like I said, it'll probably be a bit inefficient the way course play is going to do it because it's going to cut across the uh, grassy areas there as well. But uh, it'll be a lot easier in the long run because we don't have to worry about a hired worker constantly starting and stopping here with these uh, contours. And yes, everyone, I suppose I could, you know, plow the contours all together here into one field, but I kind of rather like the uh, look of the uh, contours here. Although I don't really necessarily maybe plan on doing anything. Maybe we should just plow them together, because I don't plan on doing anything with the grass in between these anymore. Uh, now that we have our big grass field, because then I can create uh, course play courses on that one, too. We don't necessarily have to do the entire process ourselves here. Okay, one round complete. Looks like uh, 
probably finish the rest of this here in this next round from the looks of it. Not looking, oh, you know what, maybe we should uh, empty here first, seeing how we're up here. Not looking too bad on the yield here, 85% uh, there from one round, that's pretty good. Okay, and put the pipe back in, and fire the combine back up. Probably going to miss a few spots here along the way, I bet. It's going to be like some little uh, piece here that's just a little bit wide. <laughs> We're not going to be able to finish it all. It's always the way it works out usually, right? Also, I, I think I've pointed this out before. It looks like it might be time for maybe like a ring job on this uh, combine here. The, uh, the smoke on this combine looks just a little bit, or the exhaust, looks just a little bit bluish. Just a wee little bit. Getting it all here so far, I'm kind of surprised. Although I can see up ahead here, like I said, definitely looks like it's a little bit wider. That might be a little bit my own fault there where I missed some. Okay, let's go back and uh, get this missing spot here because it looks like I can get the rest of this here in one pass. So, no sense uh, wasting a skinny little pass back up this field here. We'll just uh, start on the next contour then. Oh, yeah, just about perfect. Almost like we planned it. Now, if everything uh, stays this... Uh, so, oh, really? One, one... Oh, come on now. It's going to miss that a little bit. Ah, uh, wow. Okay. Oh, well. Uh, those with OCD, please look away from your screen now. Or, I guess you should have looked away a few moments ago.
Okay, there we go. And looking at the time here, everyone, looks like it is time to wrap it up here for this episode. So on that note, you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them down below. And as always, thanks for watching and until uh, next time.